Hey, tell all y'all family at this time, may the peace of y'all come upon you when you learn to obey him, brothers and sisters. I think I'll be out for another opportunity to come before you. On this video entitled, Representation, the End Time Messiah. The representation of the End Time Messiah and y'all people as well, which is you, brothers and sisters. On this video is very important to each and every one of us, brothers and sisters, that will be in our kingdom at this time and soon to come. Uh, not at this time, but in this time period, but soon to come, as we'll learn to obey Yah and do everything that he tells us to do in detail. It's very important, brothers and sisters, it's been a while since I did my last video, so I'm, I'm going to pick up and add some information in there that I overlooked in my last video. So I'm going to cover some of the same um, scriptures, all coming from the book they call Zechariah at this time, Zechariah, Zechariah at this time, according to the translation. So we're going to get right into it, but we're going to start off in chapter 3 at this time. That, is, that I may cover some very important information to, uh, to show you, to share with you. Concerning this prophecy. Concerning our nation, brothers and sisters, right here. It said, then the angel, which is the Mala King, the messenger of Yah, showed me in my vision, see, in the vision, showed the prophet, Yahshua, the high priest, standing before the Malachim of Yah. They got the angel of the Lord, but it's the Malachim, the messenger of Yah. And Satan, the adversary, was there too. And so at that, at, at the angel's right hand, accusing, it said, at the angel, at the Malachim right hand, Accusing Yahshua of many things. See, this is Yahshua, the one they call Joshua in the translation, but it's Yahshua. Some translators say um, Yahoshua, but I go with Yahshua, the high priest. And this vision was the high priest that came up from out of captivity, from out of Babylon, so keep that in mind. Showing you the high priest who, who is called the branch. The Messiah is coming from out of captivity. Remember, we're looking at a representation. And you're going to see the representation of the people as well. Real plain. You're going to see that. So keep in, at, at this in mind. Because he read here, even in this particular um, chapter, the New, New Testament called this Yahshua, have the high priest right here, Jesus. Further from the truth, brothers and sisters. This high priest was always talking about the one that came up out of Babylon and went back home when the um, second temple was built. I'm going I'm to get deep into that into my next video, but let's um, carefully read this information right here. I'm going to start off with verse 2 again. And Yah said to Satan, I reject your accusation. Satan, yes. I, Yah, for I have decided to be merciful to Yah Shalom. They got Jerusalem, but it's Yah Shalom, the city, the people of Yah. I rebuke you. I got the fan on. That's what's blowing my page. And so I rebuke you. It's so I decree mercy to Yahshua and, and his nation. And they are like a burning stick pulled out of a fire. So keep that in mind. If you go and read um, Malachi chapter 3. The father said he put us into the fire. Remember we're going to come out fine as gold. He's going to clean us up and we're going to come out fine as gold. So keep that in mind. See the same representation will occur to this. Yahshua he pulled them out of the fire. He said and they are like a burning stick. Pull out of the fire. She said, they are. Talking about Yahshua and the, whole, the nation that came from out of Babylon with him. See? Pulled out of the fire. Yahshua. See, when you look at the word pull out of the fire from under the captivity, the punishment, the oppression of the adversary. That's like being in the fire. So let, let's keep reading. And so Yahshua clothed clothing was filthy as he stood before the mighty king of Yah. Then 
The Marley King said to the others standing there, remove his filthy clothing. And turning to Yahshua, he said, See, I have taken away your sins. You see that? And now I am giving you these fine new clothings. It is then I said, please, could he also have a clean turban on his head? So they gave him one. I said, then the Marty King, they got angry, but the Marty King of Yah spoke very solemnly to Yahshua and said, Yah of hosts declares, if you will follow the path, see the ways of Yah, I will set for you and do all I tell you to do, then I will put you in charge of my temple to keep it Kodesh. See, set apart to Yah. He said, and I will let you walk in and out of my presence with the Malachims. You get that? He said, listen to me, O oh, Yahshua, the high priest, and all of you other priests. You are illustrations, see, they said they are illustrations, the demonstration of the righteous things to come. See, now this is talking about the latter days, it's talking about us. There was the illustration uh, or the representation of the righteous things to come. It said, don't you see, Yahshua, represent my servant? See, Yahshua, the high priest, is a representation of my servant, the branch, right here, whom I will send. See, this time at the end time, a captivity, the final end of captivity, the, the final exile from out of our land. That's what he's talking about, the branch. I've been covering with you, and I'm going to continue to cover about the branch. See, the branch right here, they got B, is the Messiah right here. They got Messiah and they got Christ, that falls, but it's, it's the Messiah right here. It's the branch. So keep that in mind. Y'all sure was the representation in this time period of the branch. See, the branch. Whom I will send, he will be the foundation stone of the temple that Yahshua is standing beside. You get that? And I will engrave this inscription on it seven times. I will remove the sins of this land in a single day. You get that? They got a talisman that said this was added dead, but nevertheless, that's what they had. Then, we read here, verse 10, it said, After that, Yah of hosts declares, You will all live in peace and prosperity, and each one of you will own a home of your own where you can invite your neighbors. See, it said, After that, when this time be set up, at the end, when we will never be removed from our land again, our Yah will never allow a foreigner will come and snatch it away from our land land again because we will obey Yah. Don't miss my next video, brothers and sisters. It's so important as I'm going to go to. So I want to show you right there how um, Yahshua, the high priest that came from out of Babylonian captivity back into the land was standing beside the temple, the second temple. And how that was an illustration. All that and with the priest with him was an illustration of the latter days. See, all y'all knew at that time our people was going to go back and sin and be put out of the land. And they built the second temple. Wait till you hear my next video, brother. So I don't want to cover too much about this. To get into too much of that. But I'm going to go to, at this time, chapter 6 of Ezekiel. And start off in, with verse 9 at this time. That is important. Because we're dealing with the uh, illustration. And this video is so important that I'm sharing with you at this time because we must return home. This is to give you a, a, a encouragement, give you the heart, the desire to want to please Yah and obey Yah, brothers. So it's that important that we fulfill the laws of Yah. 
the plans of Yah. Because at this time, many of y'all people is comfortable in captivity, like they was in Babylon, and don't want to go home. Don't want to gather together. There's a lot of false teachers going out into the earth at this time, brothers and sisters, that mislead a lot of our people. A lot of our people don't have confidence in y'all. A lot of people, it, it got fears and, and so dependent. And a lot of our people, it's poor at this time. And afraid to come together, not knowing that when we obey y'all, all the blessings of y'all follow our obedience, brothers and sisters. Not before. Even though some of our people might got riches of this land. But if they don't obey y'all, brothers and sisters, they don't have the blessings of y'all. See, Scripture plainly tell you, Proverbs, how it work, uh, you be rewarded with riches, but all the riches of the world is not the blessings of y'all. They can become a blessing of y'all when you're walking in the ways of Yah, brothers and sisters. But a lot of uh, wealth is gotten by ill gain, brothers and sisters, by illegal, illegal means, by wickedness. We always remember that. Many people rob many people to, uh, to get, um, and enslave many people to get their wealth. Always remember that, brothers and sisters. That don't mean you have the blessings of Yah. A lot of people will go to their grave in dishonor as I'm recover at this time. Zechariah chapter 6 verse 9. Let me get right into it because I have another video to do behind this. It said, in another message to Yah, excuse me, another message Yah said, Hel Dia, Tobiah, they got Tobiah, but Tobiah, and Yah Dea will bring gifts of silver and gold from Yahudis, the, the, excuse me, from the Yahudis exiled in Babylon. See, from the one that was, he bring the gifts from the brother that was exiled in Babylon back to the land of Yah. So this is very important. These three uh, 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 brothers right here of our nation, they representation too, you can see that, of, of future people who are us. That gonna go back home and rebuild the land. That's what I'm showing you, brothers and sisters. This is how important it is. We got, we got to give up America and build an America up. Wait till you hear my next video. It's so important. I'm gonna break it down and show you so plainly, brothers and sisters, the hearts and the minds of our people, just like the hearts and the minds of the people today that did not put y'all first, brothers and sisters. It caused a lot of suffering to take place for a long time period. Lingering suffering, lingering, uh, lingering curses, uh, month by month, year by year, the same old turn turnout. And many of our people don't know why. I'm gonna show you why. So right here, it's a hell, hell dia, Tobiah, Yadia, or Yadia will bring gifts of silver and gold from the Yahudin. They got Jews, but it's the Yahudin, the people of Yah, exiled in Babylon. The same day. They arrived and met them at the home of Yoshaya, the son of Zephaniah, where they will stay, accept their gifts, and make from them a crown from silver and gold. So keep that in mind. From the gifts, they're going to make a, a crown a, from si the silver and the gold gifts, then put the crown on the head of Yahshua. The son of Yasadet. See, the high priest. See that? The, this Yahshua, that the high priest I was telling you about earlier, is the son of Yo, Yo, Yosadet, the high priest. Tell him that Yah of hosts say, You represent the man who will come. See, he a representation of the branch. Remember, I showed you that? Who name is the branch? You get that? He will grow up from himself. They get right here, literally. He will grow up in his place. So keep that in mind. And will build the temple of Yah. You see that? So we know the branch. Is responsible to rebuild the temple of Yah 
Yahshua was the representation of the branch who came from out of captivity from Babylon and went back into the land with the governor Zerubbabel to build the temple. So keep that in mind. It said, we'll build the temple of Yah. To him belongs the royal title. You see that? He will rule both as king and as priest with perfect harmony between the two. So, so keep that in mind, brother. I'm showing you the branch of the establishment of the kingdom of Yah in both offices. See, as um, Yahshua is high priest, the branch is high priest. And Messiah. And the king of the Yah. Yah is the superior king. From the sea line of Dawi. So keep that in mind. It's very important that you understand it and know these things. It's very important. That's why I, I was telling my brothers and sisters. We have a leader. The leader is the branch. Who's going to be responsible to re rebuild third, the third temple of Yah. And we're going to get more into the third temple. We're going to talk much about the third temple. For now and forever. It's going to be very significant, brothers and sisters. This, the third tip all we're going to be talking about because y'all going to be there. He's going to place his throne there, brothers and sisters. These are the facts of y'all, brothers and sisters. So right here, it says, um, Then put the crown on the temple, excuse me, put the crown in the temple of y'all to honor those who gave it. See, to honor those who gave it, hell, see, they're putting that the crown in the temple, the second temple we're talking about. Now, go on to those who gave the gift from the people of Yah that was in captivity in Babylon, Heldiah, Tobiah, Yadiah, Yadiah. Let me get here. I'm going to show you these names. Uh, six, let me see, can I get that real quick? See, because these are uh, people names right here, six, and then we go to six right here, verse uh, 14, had the creator name in there, in there right here. See right here, say, and the, the Hakal of Yah, the tip of Yah to Helene, and to, 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 to Tobiah, and Yah, 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 see, Yah, 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 the son of Zephaniah. You see that, brother and sister, right here? It's very important. That we cover the, uh, this right here. So let me get back over here. I just wanted to show you the names. That bear record of the name of the creator, Yah. So right here, it said, um, it said right here, and also, Yosheya, it said, these three who have come from so far away, so it said, these three men that came so far away, D3 right here that came so far away it said D3 who came so far away represent many others who will someday come from a distant land to rebuild the temple of Yah. See? With who? The branch. Who's going to build a branch? You're coming with the branch. That's why I tell you so. That's why I showed you in, in Isaiah chapter 11 the branch Go ride to the people. He's gonna raise the flag and ride to the people. We're really gonna go in the land and capture the land. We got to build a temple, then a slaughter place. And be rededicated back to Yah. We're gonna rededicate the we're gonna make atonement for the slaughter place, the temple, and all. And us. In front of the eighth day on, Abi say he's gonna receive. He's gonna accept us again, which is set by offerings, our sent offerings at all. That's in um and, 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 uh, and Ezekiel chapter um, 43, verse 18 and 27. So keep these things in mind. I want to share with you right here. I cover that. Let me make sure I got everything. I, I cover that right here. So right here, 14, cover this again. It said, um, these three, so I read it. It said, these three who have come from so far away represent many others who will who someday will come from distant land to rebuild the temple of Yah. Since they someday it's talking about us, one day we're going to come from distant lands. Talk, who is responsible to rebuild this temple? Us. 
who come from far away. Brothers, we got to go back home and rebuild this temple of Yah and be pleasing to Yah. So keep that in mind and say right here, these three who come from so far away represent many others. See, represent, see their representation as well as many others who will come someday from distant lands to rebuild the temple of Yah when this occurs. You will know my messages have been from Barah. See, at that time, you say, you're going to know that Hezekiah, I mean, Zechariah, the prophet, message was from Yah of hosts. But none of this will occur unless you carefully obey the commandments of Yah, your Barah. See, you see what I say? This won't come to pass unless it's predicated on our obedience to Yah, every word, every detailed word, brothers and sisters. Everything that can be carried out in detail. The branch is going to build a temple response, and those who work it under the branch will come from far away with the branch to build the third temple of Yah, brothers and sisters. Chapter 9 at this time. So take this out. Chapter 9 of Zechariah, in my conclusion, chapter 9, verse 19 to verse 17. Chapter 9, let's get ready to it. It says, Rejoice greatly, O my people. Shout with joy, for look, your king. Remember who the king is? The branch, right here. See? The branch, he will grow up from himself and, re and build the temple of Yah, the third temple. To him belongs the royal title. See? He will rule both as king and, and as priest. With perfect harmony between the two. Let's get it right here. Nine of nine, it's a carry out right here. It said, Rejoice greatly, O my people. It's telling you to rejoice. Shout with joy. For look, your king is coming. He is the righteous one, the victor. Yet he is lowly, riding on a donkey cart. I will disarm all the people, all the peoples of the earth, including my people of Yahshua. Show them we're going to bear arms again. He shall bring peace among the nations. His realm shall stretch from sea to sea. From the rivers to the ends of the earth. I have delivered you from death in a waterless pit because of the covenant I made with you. See that? Long ago. Sealed with blood. It's a come to the place of safety. See, it's telling us we got to come to the place of safety. All you prisoners, for there is yet hope. I promise right now I will repay you two mercy for each of your foes. 13, it's a yard. You are my bow. Ephraim. See, Ephraim represents the northern nation. Ephraim, you are my arrow. Y'all represent the son of the kingdom. So keep that in mind. That the two will be one. It says both of you will be my sword. See uh, his weapon of the war. Like the sword of a mighty soldier. Brandished against the sons of Greece. See that? I want all you to know who is in our land. The sons of Greece. Red dead. The same ones that you are allowed to, ex to, um, to eradicate us out of that land at that time. For punishment. So keep that in mind. 14. And saying, Y'all shall lead his people as they fight. You see that? As they fight his people. Since Y'all is leading us. See, everything we do is according to the will of Y'all. So when we walking in the will of Y'all, it's Y'all leading us, even though we don't see him among us. So keep that in the mind. We got to return home, but it's all by the will of Y'all. Let nobody trick you, brothers and sisters, as I give you the orders of Y'all. Right here, it said, Yah shall lead his people as they fight. His arrows shall fly. His arrows shall fly. Talk about his people like lightning. And Yah Barah shall sound the trumpet call and go out against his enemies like the whirlwind off the desert from the south. See? He will defend his people. See, he's going to defend his people and they will subdue 
their enemies. She said, what he said, they. Talk about you, the nation of Yada. Of Yasha Yel Yah, the whole our whole nation that is with us will subdue their enemies. See that? Who gonna subdue their enemy? Yah gonna lead us, but we gonna do the subduing of our enemy by the will of Yah. And the power of Yah is with us. Training them beneath their feet. They will taste victory. See? See what Yah said, and they, by the words that he gave the prophet, they will taste victory. Shout with triumph, they will slaughter their foes. You see that? Plain and simple artery, they, they, by the will of Yah, they will slaughter their foes, leaving harbu cottages, their bodies everywhere. Yah, their Barah, will save his people. In that day, by who? They, they, by the will of Yah, they will slaughter their foes, leaving har har harbu carnage everywhere. And Yah, their Barah, will save, who was their creator, will save his people in that day. As a shepherd caring for his sheep. And they shall shine in his land. See that? And they in his land, in Yah's land, he promised us. The covenant he, in, in, in his land. They shall shine as glistering jewels in the crowd. In, 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 glistering jewels in a crown. How wonderful and beautiful all shall be. The abundance of grain and wine will make the young men and girls flourish. They will be radiant with health and joy. They got happiness, but exaltation. See, Yah gonna give us our health back. All these wonderful things gonna come to us when we obey Yah. Carry out our Yah will, brothers and sisters, to exterminate the Greek, the sons of Greek out of our land, bro. That's who's in our land. Ruling our land today, right here. Go brandish against the sons of Greece, brothers and sisters. The fourth beast, brothers and sisters, who took our land. And also who gave them aid. The surrounding nations uh, aided them. Especially, that's why the father said he hated Esau because he said Esau helped us escape. Esau helped block us and kill some, enslave some, and return some right back to the Greeks, brothers and sisters, that came in our land. So these are the things you need to know. These are the things you need to contemplate on. These are the things you need to meditate on every word of Yah. Never let no man deceive you, brothers. So when Yah said he's going to deliver us, it's by his will, by his plan, by his knowledge. That's how we going home, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. We're not going to physically see Yah, but by obeying every word of Yah, you will know it will be Yah when we get home. And all the things be accomplished. But like the scripture said, until you obey the commands of Yah, which is the orders of Yah, I am giving to you now. I am the last day witness of Yah, brothers and sisters. I am the branch of Yah. And all the other titles that are going to follow suit. Brothers and sisters, with that I say to that Yah.